I am only surprised because I was there myself. And so I did not envisage this coming. But some way, somehow, I'm not too surprised because I told Kojo Yangson on the same day that my challenge with the media today is that look at this beautiful event. It should be me up to Monday, the narratives will change. And Kujo said, oh, this one day won't happen. So this afternoon I called him and said, you can call me a prophet now. You see that it's changed. What we are supposed to do to get the benefits as a country, we have turned it upside down. We are saying something else. Some countries were lobbying to have this. Even Nigeria wanted it. They went to Nigeria for some reasons. It didn't happen in Nigeria. President Tekufado required the necessary steps to have this in Ghana. For those of you who do not know, when I came on the show, it was the morning show the last time I mentioned. It was president's effort that got this event into the country. I see people think that it is, it is just a show. It is not just a show. It is a policy directing show. And so they only use the art, they only use the, 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 the music uh, um, industry to drive the agenda, to empower women, girls and women, to re reduce poverty. And so they do it with presidents around the world. So I hear people say, oh, President Kokotana Hoye, it is his duty to make sure this event is or was successful. But in the first place, he asked them to come. And so I, I am not too surprised because I, I said that, could you? And I thought this time Ghanaians will surprise me that, oh, we will end up beautifully and everything will be fine. You remember when I used to do an MTN Music Festival? Yeah. One of, the, one of the days, I asked why people do not discuss my events when the event is done. And Christian Baji told me that. It is because the event comes across us. It is too clean. Mm -hmm. Flawless. That, flawless, yes. Magana. If you do an event that is flawless, nobody discusses it. And, and I'm, I'm beginning to accept that. And if it is so, then I think it's a culture we must change. And the creative industry, this is what the president has gone to push, to, 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 to bring in this event into the country. Sarkodie got the opportunity. Stoneboy got it. Zaki got it. Um back office people like crew from Kwache did sound. I'm sure he might have also learned something small from somebody who had come from one of the foreign countries. Kudupuku got a job. Um, other people, those who did light, even Chatter House. I met Yola on the day. He said he did something for the project. In the history of Ghana, as a music producer, music businessman, entrepreneur over the years, I have not seen any event with this gravity even the setup, the size of the stage, the mammoth nature. We've never seen this in this country before. So for a country that wants to become number one, the yeah, contributor to GDP with tourism, I do not think that things like this that are going to give us more mileage, we should turn it upside down and then make it look as if nothing really happened there. It was just about president's speech. And, I mean, nobody is talking about what we actually did. It's about president's speech, which I personally, I was there. Until I left there and came home the following day, I didn't know he was booed. You mean, you mean you didn't hear from where you sat that people were shouting away, away, back, no. back, back, back? I was, I was, I was with president and his family and the security team throughout the event. And then with, with Mayor of Accra, because it's a tourism material, I had to be there because my minister was not in town. So I had to be there. So, so was, how, how did you take it when you heard the, the boo? What came to your mind in, instantly? Okay. The, my first, my first, the first notion was that would it be that it happened that I did not hear? 
because the crowd was too huge. So it could have happened on one side that if you're on the other side, you won't hear. And then I watched the video. It was my brother, Kosi Ajima, who, who sent it to me uh, on, on Sunday morning. And I asked myself, how come through out the night? We never saw a tweet on this that somebody had been booed. And then after five, six hours, now there's a story that President has been booed. So when the buoy was going on, nobody tweeted it for the first time. Social media has become dormant. Until morning. It gives me a clue that the person thought it through, orchestrated it, and said, that, look, this thing is too good. It will, it will be too good for this man, this president. Why don't we find something negative? And you could tell from the video that is trending that there was somebody standing somewhere who took the video, and that person was very far from the stage. Very, if you know about how event setups are done, I saw some trust around where the person took the video from. And the trust is often from the sound engineer or a cameraman, which is very far. And where the video was taken from, where you see that kind of trust, it is often the master camera. And the master camera is often in the middle of the stage, but very far. So somebody stands somewhere, decides to orchestrate whatever he or she wants to orchestrate. And then the person makes the noise, and that, around that place, that your phone camera can only pick most of the sounds around the phone. If it's too far, the phone can't even pick. Yeah. You, you, you could actually hear the person say, video me, video, video me. me. Video Correct. Me. The person was even actually giving narrations, which means that it was planned. And then the following morning, it, it goes out there. And then president who came on stage and had to struggle and wait for the crowd to finish cheering him for about a minute. That was what actually happened. I was there. When he, he, you know, he went through the backstage. So he left us and went alone. And the sound that we got from the backstage was a wow. And for about a minute, they were just cheering him up, hailing him. You know, his numerous nicknames, Adudi and all of that. And so for me, until Sunday morning, it was going to be very difficult for me to decode or decipher the booing that they spoke about. All right. I spoke, uh -huh. yes. uh, uh, I, you, I spoke to Kojo Yangsun today. I said, Kojo, you were there. You do hear any boo? He said, no. I said, okay. How come after the, 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 the uh, you, when you were there after the event, between 12 midnight and morning, it couldn't trend that the president had been booed. And so one video from one person standing somewhere with a few friends who do not represent a sample or a sample size to represent the whole thing that we've done. All of a sudden, we've all given attention to that one camera. All right, uh, Honorable, we've heard the deputy communications person for the MPP suggest that it was an orchestration by the NDC. You've talked about orchestration, but you didn't specify a political party. Do you take that view as well? It is, it is, it, it is likely my brother Osu Bempa will think the way he's thinking. It is so because TV3 is supposed to be a media partner. And if TV3 truly wants a media partner, I want to see the stories TV3 have done after a successful event that they partnered to, to an extent that they even had one of the icons emceeing in the show, Balamundi. And so after that day, the rationale, the ethical ways of doing these things is that you ask your partner, even if you are seeing something that was not right or not tasteful, what you do is that you write one side, which is a good side, and then the other two percent or one percent of what you saw that was negative can also come. There's nothing wrong with showing somebody who was moving with his or her friend somewhere in a the corner. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't have a problem. But where is the good side that we did? Where is the, that glittering part of the event that we did? Where is the achiever part that governments of Ghana partnered or supported global citizens to come to Ghana, and they have, we've done something that has never happened in the history of this country before. And anybody who thinks that I'm exaggerating should come for it, and I'm ready.
we will sit tete a tete, ready to, 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 to exchange ideas. And see if you know any event that has happened in this country, which is bigger than this event. If the has not done that, if, if, if they've done that, please let me know. But at least the first one that came out that I saw, Unia or TV3 logo, I think it's Unia's logo on it, which is all media general. What this thing is what they are showing by Sunday morning. What happened to the good job we've done? That's my worry with the media. Um, so if I want to get you clearly, you believe that, I mean, it was bad faith on behalf of TV3 as a partnering um, organization to the event. We've known TV3 and the perception of how they are, how nice they could be with the opposition party and how my brother Captain Smart can be on and on every morning against the president of the Republic and all of that. So if TV3 comes on board and then this is, and guess what? This government has done something that is beautiful. We brought these people in. They chose a media house that is perceived to be in bed with the opposition party. But we, nobody stopped them. We allowed them to use... They actually they, they mentioned that their partners were TV3 and EIB. Both of them, we know where they belong. We agreed. They did their event. We didn't say, don't go there. Go to MPP by our stations or go and see Omar FM, Honorable Kennedy, because he is MPP. We didn't do that. And then after the event, we talked. It was a country that everybody deserved an opportunity or chance to also do what they know how to do best. And this is how we are, we are getting paid back. All right. So, um, Honorable, very, very good explanation there. But I've heard some people also say that um, given the economic temperature of the country, that things are not going on well, and the fact that um, the people are saying that the president hasn't shown too much care and seeing him at an entertainment event triggered people to boo him. Do you hold that perception or do you think it's, it's a solid case? I want you to qualify the boo. Triggered handful of people in their corner. Yes, yes. yes. In, in fact, in fact, because that is what we actually, I mean, saw. We actually heard the first video before we called you. And there we could tell immediately that the sound was coming straight from a camera, phone camera, close and close. Say, move, film me, move, video me, move, video me. So we, we, we've heard that point. So, uh, so let me just put it, let me rephrase my question, if that will make you comfortable. Yes. Yes. Um, we, we, people are suggesting that... Um, given the, the, the economic climate of the country, things are not going too well. Uh, they found it a bit untoward for the president to be there, I mean, at an entertainment event. Uh, meanwhile, he hasn't given that much care to uh, as, as some Ghanaians, if I may put it that way. And so the, 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 there's, well, should I say, insignificant number of people who booed him, and people were trying to justify that. What, 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 what would you say in response to that? Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. If Many people say president has not shown enough care. Um, I know what we are all going through. I feel the pain myself. My salary has reduced by 30%. I've been given an engine that is big. I buy my own fuel. I feel it. I inherited the car. I buy the fuel. Nobody gives me. I hear previous leaders in government had coupons. We, we don't have coupons. Oh, Honorable, please, let's get this clear. Are you saying on authority that um, as against the, the, the rumor of the, the fact that we've heard in the past that, I mean, ministers were giving fuel, you are not giving fuel or your, your administration, another's administration has taken that off? Yes, it's taken. And it's a public uh, information. He said it himself. No, you see, people believe that some of these things are said to the public just for political expediency, but behind the background, it doesn't really yes, work. Yes, yes, yes. We are not giving fuel. We, our salaries have been slashed by 30%. And so we are all feeling the pain you're feeling. Why did we go look for money from Af Afrism Bank? Why is the IMF in the country at the moment? It is because he wants to take steps to mitigate the pressure, to stabilize the economy, especially the currency, and all of that. And so if I hear that people say he's not shown concern, um, I do not understand because public speeches, he has said he, he appreciates 
the pain we are all going through. Olegi, tell me, which leader would just be in a position of leadership and say, I do not care how people feel. As for me, I'm happy when you go through pain. Especially, I get hurt when people make it look and sound like it is just President Kufado's leadership that is making us suffer. UK is going through that. USA is feeling it. Where the war is going on, they are also feeling it. It is one of the uncontrollables that could happen to anybody. It happens at the national level, which is macro, and it will hit you in your pocket, which is micro. So if we say that we do not know what you go through as a people in society, it is, it is not true. We all feel it because I'm feeling it myself. The president is also feeling it. But you can also not say that because of that, we shouldn't take developmental steps. We should just be there. The, I told you that the global citizen concept has a lot to do with precedents across the world. So even precedents from Rwanda was coming in. The South Africa one recorded a lot of precedents. Maybe now because of what the world is going through, precedents are not traveling like before. But 2018, uh, sorry, 2018, global citizen is in South Africa. A lot of African presidents were there. So to find the president there is sort of an agreement he made with the people that, look, bring it to my country. My country is ready to support you. And so every direction that we got into the delivery of this event started from Jubilee House because he's the one they knew before they came in. So president being part of the event, he had come from UN on the Friday. On Saturday, UN had, that even our ages, the normal thing is that you must have been tired. That is the normal default that every human being would feel after a long flight from UN. But he still came. They gave him 8 o'clock p.m. At his age, p.m. 8, he came, sat for hours. Guess what? After his speech, I thought he was going to leave. Because when he leaves, then you can also leave. He didn't go. He came to sit down again. Until after his performance, when Asha was done with part one, then he left before we also went back home. And so the creative industry, I expect you to take the time for you to speak and say, look, that's just I'll show you guys love. If you had been sports, people have, would have kept quiet. And so as for sports, it's normal when presidents go. But you see, president is spending time. He's, doing, he's taking all the steps to help this industry. Again, creative industry, you are quiet. You are allowing the other industries to look down on you. So you people don't deserve the presence of president at your event. What's wrong with it if a president comes for your event? Or you get? If he told us an event, a president Kufado decides that he wants to come and bless you with his presence. What is wrong with that? Is it because it is from the creative space? Is it because it is music? Is it because it is the art? It's about time that perception changed. But presidents go for stadium. We see them in stadia, watching events, watching football, and that's why it's fine. The president appears at a music concert. No, he's not. He's he's not showing us enough love. He shouldn't have come. It's about time we changed the narratives. And people like you, you have the microphone, unless of course you are thinking I'm not making sense. Oh no, you you are making sense. You are making yeah. sense. All right, so, um, Honorable, we don't have too much time and uh, we'd like to, I mean, hang our boots right here for now. And when we want you for any other information, we'll definitely call you to, to clear the air for us. Thank you very much, Honorable, for please, taking guys, time. Be, be, be proud of what you have had as a country. For your information, we, as a country, we wanted to be number one by 2026 in terms of West African tourism. The target was to become number one in 2026. For your information, at the moment, when it comes to tourism, Ghana has become number one. We couldn't wait to 2023. We've become number one. The ratings not coming from us. World Economic Forum, you can go and check. Ghana is the number one tourism destination in West Africa. And we are going to work hard to make Ghana number one in Africa. And it will be targets. If you and I do not support and understand the direction we want to go, and all we look out for is somebody brings an event here, we look for a flow.
somebody will be like, what do we get to go and talk about, which is negative? How do we get such events coming back next time? And it is, it, it, these are some of the assets we can take advantage of in making Ghana the number one tourism destination in Africa. All right. So there's some good news. Yeah, good news. Oh, so Honorable, oh, sorry to, to throw this one in. If, if there is any musical concert, a big one, before 2024, would you advise the president to attend? If it, it attracts the president, if it is now, and he feels like he, he, want, he wants to be part, why not? I mean, yesterday I went to the president's house in the afternoon to have a private uh, conversation with him. I met Asha in the president's house. I met Stoneboy in President's house. He actually gave them um, 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 a treat again yesterday. And we, those of you who listen to my interviews of him, I've been telling you that years ago, in my DJ in this, I used to play in President Kufo's house. Mm -hmm. I know how his reaction towards music and the art. He himself, in his younger days, tried to produce film. And that is why, in my younger days, I put a team together to campaign for him because of his passion for the art. And so if he decides that there's, there's an event, there's a show, and on the particular day he's free, and he wants to also ease up his pressure. What, what is wrong with that? I, I think that we have this perception that, um, uh, because I saw one lady, one blogger, nothing had happened or so-called uh, boo or whatever had happened. She came to me and, and, and said that, Namo uh, Pedewa. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> As if you are not supposed to be there. You go and run the stage, you are coming to enjoy. <laughs> and, and the truth is that I don't know the girl. To date, I don't know her. I've fully really seen her face. She said she wanted to take a picture with me. And when she was coming, I saw President looking at her because she came across her, she knew me. I didn't know her. She said she was a blogger. And so she said, I said, I said, my boss is here. He said, yeah, but I'm not called Penewa. I say, ah, so in your mind, presidents are not supposed to have lighter side. And even this one, he didn't come on the note of lighter side. He has come to work because he has given the people the promise that they should come into his country. He's going to support them, have a successful event. And if you listen to his speech, he was talking about Africa continental free trade area. What I came to talk about it last time. And the speech is not meant for just the people in, that, in, in, the, in the environment. It is meant for the whole world because the whole world was watching on the night. So it is to tell the world policy. Right. That's why he didn't come to talk about somebody's music there. He spoke about policy. policy. Yes. All right, Honorable. And the you, event you, is a policy driven event. Yeah. You can read about it. Honorable, you, you mentioned something that has triggered a question in my mind. World mm -hmm. platform. There are alleged reportages that the, 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 the president was booed. Do you feel embarrassed on behalf of the president? Guess what? Do you think he doesn't hear some of these things? He heard it yesterday. There are jobs to be done. IMF is in town today. How, how did you know he heard it yesterday? Did you have a discussion with him on I that matter? I told you that I went to the president's house yesterday. I saw Mr. Asha mm. I saw Stoneboy. You can talk to Stoneboy. Call him and ask him if he was not in the president's house yesterday. All right. Hmm. All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much for speaking to us. All right. 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 The Dawn of Dawns. Uh, very yes. interesting. Very, very All right. so, uh, interesting people. and dynamic. Very dynamic. Yeah. In fact, we have done more